One of the things with the greatest impact on Earth is gravity. That is my opinion though. I know gravity affects virtually everything on Earth and this is a key phenomenon in the principle of original horizontality. The principle of original horizontality was proposed by a popular Danish scientist Nikola Steno. It states that layers of sediments are originally deposited horizontally under the influence of gravity. You can easily note that from the formation of this deposit. The point to note from those law are layers of sedimentary rocks deposited horizontally and influence of gravity. Because the Earth is not static, there have been movements and processes which alter the form and shape of rocks. Some rocks therefore looks like they were not deposited horizontally. Those rocks have been tilted as a result of tectonic forces. When you look at this layer of rock, do you think this is how it was formed? No. If we are to explain how this folded rock came into existence, we have to travel back to the geologic past. Now, pack your bags and let's travel years back. These layers were once laid down horizontally and then compressional tectonic forces pushed them together and caused the rocks to become folded. Someone is asking, what if sediment becomes deposited on this tilted layer? We are thinking it will form like this. Not completely true. Remember the process of sedimentary rock formation takes millions of years. That's enough time for the sediment to settle comfortably at the base of the fold under the influence of gravity rather than hanging. I said not completely true because recent studies show that some sediment drip over pre-existing structure and are therefore deposited conformably on heat. Also, frictional force may hold the sediment from rolling down the surface and therefore forming on this inclined layer. You know, nothing is impossible, but this kind of deposition will be a very, very rare case. Let's take a quiz in the law of superposition, lateral continuity, and original horizontality. Assume during one of your field trips you come across this kind of rock. How do you think it might have formed? <laughs> Don't tell me you stop assuming. Just assume and provide the answer. I think these two rocks look alike. The likeliest way it might have formed is for layers of sediment to be deposited. Then they become folded, then part of it becomes eroded by any erosion agent, maybe water. Do you think it might have formed in another way? Please put in the comment section and let me learn from you too. If you have any question also put in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.